There you go. Dear Mr. Ben, the reason I'm writing to you is to ask you if you would be interested in being Anthony's big brother. He's on a waiting list for the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. You could be a role model for Anthony in his life, and with your experience in life, you could help us lead him in the right direction. How you doing? Good. Good. I was mentoring Anthony at his elementary school at the time through a mentoring program that uh, was created by my church. Well, Anthony's grandmother wrote me a letter, and Anthony gave it to me the last time that we were together. You know, it still makes me emotional today to read what was in that letter and to read about the challenges that Anthony has had. I mean, there was no question that I was going to become his big brother. Anthony is uh, 10 years old and uh, is full of life and full of imagination and energy. I mean, from the get-go, Anthony loves to talk. Um, he loves to tell stories. Um, he loves to um, ask questions. You know, he wants to know more. He's a lawyer and he went to college and I think that's pretty, pretty cool. When I first got started with Anthony, I wasn't able to comprehend the importance and the magnitude of our relationship in terms of me being a Hispanic man, me having graduated from high school, having gone on to college and going on to law school. And I saw that this was a Hispanic boy who was capable of accomplishing so many things. That's when that duty and that calling and that obligation really took hold in me. I want to go to college and I want to have a full scholarship, maybe be a lawyer, and I want, well, Ben didn't do this, but I wanted to be a football player for Texas Longhorns. Well, I think when we first started coming to UT, um, I didn't realize the impact that it would, you know, that it would have on our relationship. It's important to him to, uh, to realize where I came from and what he's capable of doing, because I did it, he knows that he can do it too. As these years have gone on, he is maturing, but at the same time, you know, we're going to still continue to meet some adversity and challenges, and we'll respond to that together. And I'm going to continue to let him know that I love him and that I care about him, that I believe in him, and, uh, you know, that I'm, I'm there to listen when, whenever he, whenever he wants, to, wants to talk to me. He's just like the coolest guy I've ever met. <laughs> it's true. Well, that's nice of you to say. Anthony has taught me more than I'll ever be able to teach him. I know he doesn't realize that. He makes me want to be a better son. He makes me want to be a better husband. He makes me want to be a better father. He makes me want to be a better friend and a better person. And um, I'm, I'm proud to be Anthony's big brother. Mm -hmm.